Hi, Bad Buddies. Hi, it's me, Ross. Okay, so I can't be as loud as normal because Dara's over there doing some real work, and I don't want to bother her. Um, anyway, hi. So earlier today, if you noticed, if you go to the blog, I put a call out for a tell blog to, to tell the blog. But I wanted to talk about something specific because I like having like a you know somewhere to go with the tell blog. So I don't know if you noticed today or if you heard, but Time Magazine announced their uh, annual honor of Person of the Year, and they gave it to who else? Barack Obama, President Elect. Because come on, no, no matter where you lie politically, like that guy kind of did some amazing things this year and kind of earned it. So I thought about well, there are a bunch of other people who could deserve that title too like amazing people of the year whether they're famous people or people in your lives I want to know who you thought was also worthy of that honor right so I asked you to send in your numbers we're going to go to the very first person actually that's a total lie I already tried to call one person but they weren't um, there so this is the second person to send in her number okay, okay. how do I do that I don't know how to work the freaking phone alright hold on okay this is hey. Miriam oh my god oh my god how are you how are you it's Ross did you know that Yes, I do. Okay. Hi. Hi. You're calling from New. Oh, uh, you're in New York, right? I am in New York. You're like in Manhattan, like in the thick of it. I am. I can actually. Well, it's dark now, so I can't. But if it were light, I could see Central Park right now. Oh, how nice. Yeah. So now you know we're talking about the person of the year, Time Magazine. I do know that. Yeah, and they they said they announced Barack Obama, but who? I mean, right. who else would you think would be worthy of the honor? Um. You know, I mean, I, I think they're really right because I think it, it was it's such you know, a huge thing that he did. Right? Like crazy? Yeah. Did you hear who the runner-up was for the for the uh, honor? No. Sarah Palin. It, n no. <laughs> no? I disagree. You disagree? I disagree. And why do you disagree? Because I, I, she didn't really do anything. I mean, she was, she, she was definitely in the news a lot, you know. We were mm -hmm. all talking about her, but, it, you know, it's, it's kind of the same, like, you know, Britney Spears, Harris Hilton, like, just celebrity for celebrity's sake. You think so? How interesting. Like, with no substance. Oh, really? I was telling a lot of people are going to disagree with you, but it's interesting. <laughs> uh, you could just compare her to um, Paris Hilton. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, dear God, I thought you hung up on me. No. Oh, I was, I thought, well, did I say something wrong? No, not at all. No, I thought I was, I was letting you, um... Uh, I you talk. <laughs> Let me tell you right now, it is so rainy and cold here. I am in the. I wore the biggest, uh, the warmest clothes I have because all I want to just curl up. Mm -hmm. How do people live in but cold? If you want cold, come over to New York. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So how do people live in cold climates all the time? Because how do you get out of bed? All I want to do is curl up and do nothing. It's really hard. <laughs> and eat carbs. That's all I want to do. Yeah. With cheese on them. Absolutely. I know. Oh, cheese, there's, there's no better thing. Right? It was sushi day in the commissary, which usually I get excited about. That's great. That's healthy. I love sushi. Totally. But it's so freaking cold. I'm like, mm-mm. No, yeah. So let me tell you what I did. I went to the sandwich line and had them put turkey in a, in a whole green or a whole wheat wrap, right? For you. With a little um, um, a center tomato um, pesto and a mm -hmm. piece of provolone, and then we wrapped it, and I put it on the grill thing so it all melted. It tasted kind of like pizza. Wow. Oh. <laughs> oh man, and that's all I wanted carbs with cheese. Yeah, I know. No, hard. I'm doing the Weight Watchers myself. Oh, lady, how, uh, what's your goal? Uh, my goal is a lot. Okay, well, you know what? You're gorgeous, and you'll be gorgeous, and you can do it. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's freaking hard though. Okay, yeah, it's hard. you know what? You get you. You were the second person to send your number, and your honor is picking number one through six. Okay, uh, three, three. Okay, and then hold on, picking number one through twenty. Okay, 12. Okay, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're going to call Elizabeth, okay? All right. Hello? Elizabeth? Is this Ross? Mm-hmm. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm great. Where are you, Elizabeth? Oh, I'm in London, Texas. <laughs> Texas? Yes. Fantastic. And um, so now who would you nominate for Person of the Year? I, well, you know what? I don't want to nominate a person. I want to nominate those little puppies who save that little boy's life in the woods. 
what? What what puppies is this? What happened? Some little boy, three year old boy got lost in the woods and there's two little puppies with him and it went down to seventeen degrees that night. No. And they stepped up against him and saved his life. Oh my god. I the sweetest thing you've ever heard. I love puppies, but life saving puppies? Are you kidding me? I know. That's a good one. That's a good one, Elizabeth. Thank you so much for sharing that. Oh, you're welcome. Now I need you to pick a number one through six. Um, four. Four. Um, and then uh, one through thirty. One through thirty. Twenty-nine. My age. All right, great. We're gonna call Donna right now, okay? All right. Thanks so much, sweetie. Okay. But are you really twenty-nine? No. Okay. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. Have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye. 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 I'm taking emergency stuff just to stay healthy. Just to stay healthy. They, they said that this would be Donna, pick up. I am picking up. I am picking up. Oh, my God, you're there. Oh, my goodness. How are you, Donna? I'm fantastic. It's Ross, by the no way. No idea. Well, I know. Oh, hi. Oh, your voice. Oh, you do? Because I have the voice of an angel. I'm putting some emergency into a um, bottle of water. You are? Mm. Well, I hope that makes you feel better. Oh, yeah, I feel fine. I think a guy's just got to play safe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a smart thing. I'm a safety kind of guy, like Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. Fantastic. No strawberry seeds in your teeth ever. Exactly. Now, speaking of Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman, who do you think should be this year's Person of the Year? Well, you know, after reading um, your post, I gave it some thought. Okay. And if I were giving serious three cards, I would think of people like Michael Phelps. Okay. Or a star athlete or Tina Fey or... <gasps> Um, showing the truth behind the facade and, um, during the election. And also just being a great entertainer. And also just being a great entertainer. Yes. But if I were to um, think of someone more recent, I might think of the guy who threw the shoes <laughs> at Bush the other day. No, no, no. You are so funny. I don't know how the pol this got so political, this conversation. There was another person who compared uh, 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 Sarah Palin to Paris Hilton. Oh, dear. Whoa. <laughs> and now you're glad with the guy throwing shoes. Well, I think that is funny. I think, I mean, you know, I, no one wants anyone to get hurt, do we? No, no. Oh, no. Exactly. No. And where are you from again? I am, um, in case you can't tell from my accent, I'm from Minnesota. I'm I was just going to say, as soon as you went, no, I was like, oh, I got to find where she's from. I'm going to make some hot dish and some potluck dinner. Pot, potluck yeah. dinner. <laughs> uh, what is your specialty this, this holiday season? What do you make that better than anyone else can make? You know, actually, one of the things that I really like to make is um, their little treat called Santa Hat. Okay, sounds good. I'm, oh, so far, I'm interested. You melt, like, white chocolate, like, almond bark type stuff. I'm listening. You take bugles. Who? Cool. Like bugles, like those round chips? Like those round cone shaped chips. Like the nacho cool ranch flavor? Sorry, but not the flavor, you just want the plain bugle. You don't want like the nacho flavored one because this is a sweet treat. Okay. So you dip the end of the bugle. You know how uh, if you draw a cartoon hat that's pointy, it has like a little snowball on top and a little furry rim on Look like a Santa hat. You know, obviously that's the name of the cook, the treat. Yes. So, so you dip the tip of the bugle and then you dip the cone part of the bugle into the white chocolate. And then you I would like, hold on, I'm drawing, I'm drawing a diagram okay. here. This is what a bugle looks like, people. And this part is hollow. Okay? Right, the hollow part. That's so, they tuck the M&M. So wait, talk to me about the tip. You dip the tip in what? You dip the tip in the white chocolate or almond bark type material that you've melted. So it makes like a white round thing on top. So you make a little snowball on top and a little white rim around the base of the bugle. Okay. And that white chocolate, while it's warm like that, will also adhere the M&M to the inside of the... So then, it, so then when you look at it, it looks like a little red or green head with a little fuzzy hat on it. So an M&M goes in there. An M&M goes in there. Uh, and then you line them up and let them cool. Set them, here in Minnesota, you can just set them out on the porch for about two minutes. And on like, like a wax paper? Yes, like wax paper. Yeah. How many calories does one have, you think? Oh, gosh. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> Well, they're kind of fun since they're little. You can have a couple of them and not be too bad, maybe. You think? There's probably a few cows. I mean, and it's one M&M &M and one little dip of the... Oh, and that bugle. That I, I want to make out. I drew a diagram, and I just want to make out with the diagram. To be honest with you, 
<laughs> less calories. I'm sure it looks good enough to eat. Oh, I tell you, that's the closest to a cookie I've been. You know, I don't do a lot of the sweets, but I love I love a cookie or something you can eat that looks like something else. Yes, it does look like something else, and it satisfies the salty and the sweet craving. Oh yeah. Time. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Mm. But it's really really good. I highly recommend them. <laughs> They're a popular hit everywhere. You, bring them. you got me going, is what you got me, Donna. <laughs> got me in the mood. <laughs> well, have a happy holiday, Sweet Pete. Thank you. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.